we're asked to use implicit differentiation to determine dy dx. We're given y squared plus 4x cubed equals 9y minus 3x squared. To begin, we differentiate both sides of the equation with respect to x, which gives us a derivative with respect to x of the left side of y squared plus 4x cubed equals, on the right side, the derivative with respect to x of 9y minus 3x squared. When differentiating with respect to x, if the term only contains x, we differentiate like we normally do. If the term is a y term, we need to apply the chain rule, which indicates we differentiate with respect to y, then multiply it by a factor of dy dx. So when differentiating y squared with respect to x, the derivative is equal to 2y times dy dx. Again, this is the chain rule, where 2y represents the derivative of the outer function evaluated at the inner function, and dy dx is a derivative of the inner function. And then plus, the derivative of 4x cubed with respect to x is 12x squared. We don't have a factor of dy dx because we're differentiating an x term. Equals on the right side, the derivative of 9y with respect to x, again, requires a chain rule. The derivative with respect to x is equal to the derivative of 9y with respect to y, which is 9, and then times dy dx. Again, this is because of the chain rule. And then minus the derivative of 3x squared with respect to x, which is 6x. And now we need to solve the equation for dy dx. Notice right now we have dy dx terms on both sides of the equation. To begin to solve for dy dx, we need to get them on the same side. Let's go ahead and subtract 9 dy dx on both sides. Let's also subtract 12x squared on both sides. And now let's be careful simplifying. 12x squared minus 12x squared is zero. And on the right side, 9 dy dx minus 9 dy dx is also zero. And then we have 2y dy dx minus 9 dy dx. These are not like terms. We go ahead and write 2y times dy dx minus 9 dy dx. If we want 9 times dy dx equals on the right side. Again, we don't have like terms. Let's write the right side as negative 12x squared minus 6x. And now because we have two dy dx terms on the same side, and we're trying to solve for dy dx, we will now factor out the common factor of dy dx. This gives us dy dx times the quantity 2y minus 9 is equal to negative 12x squared minus 6x. And finally, to solve for dy dx, we will now divide both sides by the quantity 2y minus 9. Simplifying. We now have dy dx is equal to the quantity negative 12x squared minus 6x divided by the quantity 2y minus 9. I hope you found this helpful.